Have you read the story of a man that was called Moses? Moses was a priest in Egypt. And because of his zeal for the Lord's house, he killed an Egyptian. And Pharaoh was almost going to cut off his head. And out of fear, he did what? He ran out of Egypt. And for 40 years, he was in the wilderness. And one day, in the backside of the wilderness, what happened? They saw a bush pony that was not consumed. The bush was pony and was not consumed. And he said, ah, I will turn now to see this site. What site is this? How can a bush be on fire and the bush is not consumed? And then he encountered the Lord. When he encountered the Lord, he returned back to Egypt. Nothing changed. He did not dream. He came back just with what? With a staff. And he, this was the man that Pharaoh was looking for to kill. He appeared before Pharaoh. Said, God says the Lord God of the Hebrews, let my people go that they might worship. Let my people go that they might worship me. Fear was gone. And by a staff, the same man that ran out of Egypt out of here, uprooted Egypt, planted it in the sea. He ended the civilization of Egypt of that time. Why? He returned with what? With a mantle. He returned with a staff. A signet of authority. A scepter. The same man was referred to as the king of Jesu. Meaning the king of righteousness. Do you know what Jacob did? Jacob gathered his sons together on his sick bed before he joined his fathers. He said, gather around me, his sons of Jacob, that I may tell thee the things that shall surely be for you. And he began with Reuben. He said, Reuben, you are the excellency of strength and wisdom. But as, as unstable as water, you will know what? You will not excel because you defy my bed. And instead of a blessing, Reuben inherited a curse. But guess what? In Deuteronomy, when the king of Jeshua arrives, Moses has become a king. Remember, in Genesis chapter 32, when Jacob encountered the angel, he wrestled with the angel to the breaking of the day. And the angel said, let me go for the day break it. He said, no, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And then the angel asked him, he said, what is thy name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, from this time, you will no more be called Jacob, but you will be called what? Israel. For as a prince, thou have power with God and with man and have prevailed. So Jacob spoke as a prince. And because he spoke as a prince, his words were upheld. By word, he made the firstborn the least in Israel. By words, he made the lastborn, firstborn, Ephraim and Amanasi. So, when the king of Jeshurun showed up, what did he say? He said, let Ruben live and not die. Let his men not be few. He spoke as a king. And what was done by a prince was undone immediately. Because the one speaking was speaking by a higher mantle. Speaking by a higher scepter. Aye. 